And I guess just for the record, in case people wonder why I sometimes look half naked in my videos, I tend to wear either junky t-shirts or sometimes like just a sports bra at home because I am super anal about what clothes I get pet hair on and my couch is like an infestation of pet hair so I usually don't like to wear too much while I'm on the couch and that is why I always look like I am half naked. Okay, I am going out soon to enjoy a meal by myself actually. So this is what I decided to wear. It is a dress and you know, I'm not going anywhere fancy. I'm just going to eat out by myself, but I really like dressing up like I've said in the past. So I love fashion. I love all of that. It's just that I'm home all the time. So sometimes I don't get the opportunity to dress up and look nice, but even though I'm eating by myself today, I just thought that it would be fun to do it. It's not like dressing up takes a lot of time or anything. I just put it on. So I'm going out. Well, actually, so. <laughs> I'm in the cat room because the lighting in here is so much better than the other room. But here is my outfit. It's just a dress. And I'm going to wear my coat because it is cold today. I got to put this girl in her crate now. Okay, so actually the past few days I have been wanting to go out to eat somewhere by myself. But today I was like sitting on my couch, I was watching Clueless, and I just really had that urge to go out. And um, why not, you know? I feel like sometimes I don't necessarily act on these impulses that I have. I haven't gone out for a meal by myself for a while. So I decided to go to Outback Steakhouse. I know it's not anything fancy or anything, but I like their steak. I like their salad also. So I decided maybe I can just go there for a meal, enjoy it by myself, just go out and do something for myself. And then also maybe afterwards, I was hoping I could maybe go somewhere where I could, I don't know, look at the stars, walk around somewhere peaceful and quiet. Um, I think the outback that I saw might be near some sort of hiking area. So I'm not gonna go hiking, I'm wearing heels, but I think there might be some good views I could possibly drive by, stop and walk around perhaps. So hopefully I get to do that. Um, I'm rarely out at night. Like being out at night when it's dark is very unusual for me and it feels discomforting at times, but <sighs> I kind of feel really good about this and maybe it'll be nice just to be around people for a change. I am back from eating at Outback Steakhouse and you know, I'd like to say that it was a pretty good experience, but I think most of why it sucked was because the service sucked. This has been something I really disagree with in terms of I hate tipping. And if anybody wants to understand fully my argument towards it, Steve Buscemi makes a great statement about tipping at the beginning of Reservoir Dogs. If you have not seen it and are curious, please look it up on YouTube because he makes a great argument for it. But anyways, yeah, the, um, the service was just terrible. I didn't have any napkins. I didn't have any silverware. I had to ask for each of those. I didn't get a knife with my steak. I had to ask for a knife. So I am really the most simple person there could be. I literally, I gave my order to the woman the second I sat down because I knew what I wanted. So all they have to do is bring me their stuff. I mean, I don't, I don't really ask for anything else because I am pretty much an in and out kind of person. I sit down, I eat, enjoy my meal, and then once I'm done, I pay and I leave. I didn't even say bye to my server because I paid using their little iPad thingy, which is very convenient. Ideally, I kind of, I would have liked to give her no tip because I personally don't think she deserved it. But unfortunately, society frowns upon that and I gave her a tip. 
I gave her like 13%. I wanted to give her 10%. I wanted to give her 0%, but damn it. <laughs> oh, are you trying to eat my hair? Cats are wrestling again. So let's see, a little overview of today. I went hiking. Uh, it was close to Eagle Rock and it was a hike I noticed on the side of the road while I was driving. So I feel like it's just the same thing every time I go hiking. Whenever I drive out there, I just feel an internal sadness because I see all these houses on their hills or all these houses that are like one mile off the side of the road and they have acres of land and <laughs> It kind of makes me sad because I don't have that and I really, really want it. I know that it's a really silly thing to be sad about because that sort of thing is obtainable. I just have to work towards it and I'm kind of young to have something like that. But I just, I just feel like it would be so peaceful. There were so many views out there today, which were beautiful. And I always, always imagine that if I had my own house and if I had a view like that, that I could see every single day, my life would be so complete. And then also, aside from that, if I lived out there, I would have access to these beautiful hikes within 30 minutes instead of having to drive an hour out there. Probably even shorter than 30 minutes. So. It's just every time I go out there, I just wished I had easier access to these things. Daily views of such beautiful mountains and open space and fields. It's going to take a while for me to ever have something like that, but I really wish I did. We came across some cows today. I guess like really I wanted Riley to kind of just get some exposure because she has really never been around a lot of other animals. She's actually never been around many dogs herself either. So even though in the video she's kind of like approaching and stuff, definitely wasn't approaching in an aggressive manner. And I pretty much was prepared to give her any sort of correction if she showed any predatory signs, which she didn't. Um, so I think for the most part, since it was the first time she ever saw a cow, she was obviously very skittish. Sometimes the cow would probably make some warning gestures and then she backed off, which is good because, you know, if she didn't respect an animal telling her to back off, then that would be worrisome and I would definitely correct something like that. But honestly, I thought it was kind of funny because towards the end, I didn't manage to get it on film, but she did get a little close and then the cow made some warning gestures and then she ended up like, doing her little usual thing where she would kind of like be all high energy and running around and I kind of felt like she was in a playful mode which I thought was funny because here's some big large animal that she has never seen before and she's acting in a sense that she wants to play with it knowing nothing about it but I guess I kind of wanted to just give a little explanation about what is happening in the clip just so people aren't getting the wrong idea that I am allowing her to get close and cause harm to the cow. Absolutely not. We didn't even touch the cows at all. We just wanted to approach and get close and take a look at them. Um, I have probably never been this close to a cow before and honestly, it was, it was really nice. It just, for some reason, seeing them and being around them kind of makes you feel like Kind of makes you feel appreciative of the simpler things. Like all they do is they graze on these lands, they just lie, chill out, and they just seem like such peaceful creatures. And honestly, I was incredibly impressed that the cow was so calm around a new thing like Riley. On the way back, picked up some pie because Julian apparently is well known for pie and cake. So I tried out this peach apple crumb pie and it was pretty good. Um, I don't think I would be much of a pie person though because just from that one slice, I got kind of sick of it. Well, I hope 
everyone had a great day today. And you know, I don't feel like I did very much today, but that's perfectly okay. I'm just glad that I ended 2017 healthy, happy, and enjoying myself. Goodbye 2017 from Riley. Oh, by the way, quick mention, she is turning two this upcoming week. January 5th, my baby is turning two. She is getting old. Puppers, you want to say goodbye to 2017? <laughs> Good. <laughs> that little spaz. Good job.